All right, guys, today I'm going to be going over regen breaking a little bit in Vest Tool. First, you're going to want to set your limits. So for your battery, you do not want to go over what your battery recommends. So if your battery, most of them are 5 amps, I would keep it at 4 amps. This battery is a 10 amp battery, so I have it set to 8 amps. So for the motor brake, you can really set that to whatever you want to, but keep in mind the further away that is from your battery, the more the controller is going to heat up because that energy has to go somewhere. Also, the more the motor will heat up. Um, so just make sure you have those at a reasonable amount. Uh, about negative 15 is as high as I go. I've heard people going higher on the crazy cart kits, but that's all I really like. I don't like it stopping any harder than that. So now we're going to go to our setup input. Just like we do at the throttle calculate or calibrate. Same setup, ADC, same thing. Move your throttle a few times. Now you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to something. Wherever you want your regen braking to start, so say I want it to start right here, we're gonna look at our screen and see our now voltage. So for me, that's about 1.45. So as you can see, I got a little bit range to go down and I got a ton of range to hit the throttle. So just keep a note of that. We're just going to continue as usual. But on this page is where we're gonna do something different. We're gonna change this to current reverse, or current no reverse brake center. So that, that means the center of our throttle is where the brake will start. Now, like I said, I don't want mine in the very center. So I took note of that 1.4 volts and we're going to go to our app config ADC and go to mapping and change your ADC1 center voltage. So you can see mine's 1.68. So like I said, I want mine about 1.45. Now that'll give me my desired throttle position. Uh, if you have any more questions about regen braking, let me know.